Hey, what's up? This is Samuel Barcy with Sam's Lessons. Today I'm going to answer the question that you may have after you take your first drum lesson. How do I practice? I would say you actually have four, an or four options. First option is you could rent a drum set by the hour. Second option, buy a new drum set. Third option, sorry if you can hear that, that's my coffee. Third option, you could buy a used drum set. And the fourth option is you could buy an electronic drum set. First option is the simplest. You can go to some place like Guitar Center or Chicago Music Garage. And you can rent a drum set by the hour. I recommend Chicago Music Garage just because you feel like it's more private when you're there. A Guitar Center, it's like a modular room that's in their drum department and there's like a little window so people can see in there. Um, so you have to be pretty bold if you practice at Guitar Center. The Chicago Music Garage is a lot more private and you'll feel more comfortable. Usually these rehearsal studios, I believe they range somewhere in between $10 and $20 per hour. And so if you want to go play drums today, right now, that's your best option. But it does add up over time. I mean, $20 an hour, that's pretty expensive if you could just have your own drum set at home, especially. And like, if you have your own drum set at home, you don't have to drive there. So let's, get, let's talk about having your own drum set at home. So second option, you can get a new drum set. You go to Guitar Center, go to Sweetwater.com, go to MusiciansFriend.com. These are all good places to buy a new drum set. I would recommend spending about $700 to $800 and buying a complete drum set. Don't buy the shells one place and the hardware another place. Otherwise, that's going to be more expensive and more complex, a more complicated way to buy your kit. Usually, if you try and buy your shells one place and then your stands another place and the cymbals and get them all new, that's going to cost like $1,500. But you get pretty much the same quality stuff for $700, $800 if you buy a complete drum set. I recommend the Gretsch Energy, the PDP Center Stage, and the Tama Imperial Star. Those are all in that $700 to $800 range. And those companies make really good quality stuff. Next option, I would recommend getting a used drum set. If you get a used drum set, you get something that would cost seven, eight hundred thousand dollars new. You can get it for like three hundred, four hundred dollars. I recommend Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, LetGo.com. Those are all good resources to pick up a used kit. And again, buy a complete drum set. Don't go half shells and then get the hardware somewhere else that's going to be more expensive more complex get the whole thing you might have to be patient and wait for it but i promise you'll see people trying to sell a complete drum set in pretty much new condition for like 425 dollars pretty often it happens i see them like pretty much every week so um just keep your eyes peeled if you're willing to do that and finally because we're in the city, because it's not always an option to practice on an acoustic drum kit like this, sometimes people have to get electronic drum kits. Electronic drum kits have rubber pads that send a signal to uh, a signal processor, and then that signal processor puts the, turns the signal into the sound of your drum set, and then you can hear the drum set in the headphones. Basically, you hit a rubber pad, and then through your headphones it sounds like the snare drum or it sounds like the hi-hat but these are all rubber pads right rubber pads don't make a lot of sound so you can play them if you're in, a, in an apartment complex or if you have neighbors close to your left or your right and so if volume is a concern I'd recommend getting an electronic kit I recommend a new drum set or a new electronic kit if possible spend over five hundred dollars to make sure that the electronic kit takes a real kick drum pedal. Some of the cheap entry level ones will have a kick drum pedal that is like, it looks like the top's been cut off. And so it's just a sensor. And it just doesn't feel the same as that motion right there. You want the pedal to actually have the beater and the spring and the chain and all of that stuff so that you can really get used to what it feels like to play a real kick drum pedal. Because that's just gonna be better for you getting more advanced. It's gonna help you to get better faster, in other words. So again, just to reiterate your four options, you can get an electronic drum set, a used drum set, a new drum set, or you could rent a drum set by the hour. 
I highly recommend practicing. The more you practice, the more fun you're going to have uh, playing the drums. Just because the more tricks you're going to have and the more, the more music you're going to know and the more beats you're going to know. And the more tricks we know, the more we can use or the, the more fun we can have making great music. So, highly recommend getting on the practice train as fast as possible and enjoy it. So, please let me know what you think of this video. If it's helpful to you, let me know in the comment section. Send me an email, whatever. And until the next time, thank you very much.